area of regular polygons with the apothem. We're at 10.2c. That means there's six previous videos for Chapter 10 that you can find by clicking on the description. The center of a regular polygon is equidistant from the vertices. So this center point right here is the same distance to every single vertex. This little line right here is the apothem. The apothem is the distance from the center to a side. So not a vertex, to a side. See how it makes a 90 degree angle? A central angle of a regular polygon has its vertex at the center and its sides pass through consecutive vertices. Each central angle measure of a regular n-gon is the quotient of 360 degrees and n, the number of the sides. So here we've got a central angle right here and here and here and here and here. And see how it makes a circle? That's why we've got the 360 degrees. We divide it by how many sides there are. To find the area of a regular n-gon with side lengths s and apothem a, we divide it into n-congruent isosceles triangles. So here we have a penta pentagon, and this is our side length, whatever the measure in inches, centimeters, meters, whatever. And we've got one, two, three, four, five congruent isosceles triangles. And the area of each triangle is half the apothem times the side. So that's the area of each triangle. For the total area of the polygon, we've got area equals the number of sides times half times the apothem times the side length measure. And we can use perimeter P. That's going to equal the number of sides times that side length measure. So our area is equal to half the apothem times the perimeter. So for your notes, the area of a regular polygon with apothem A and perimeter P is A equals half AP. We can find the area of a regular hexagon. It's got six sides and we can round it to the nearest tenth of a meter. We have a regular hexagon with a six meter side length. So our perimeter is six sides times that six meters. It's 36 meters. And it can be divided into six equilateral triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And by the 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle theorem, we learned that back in 5.8b, the apothem is three times the square root of three meters. So remember, here we've got three meters because it's half of the six, isn't it? Using our formula, area equals half AP, our apothem is 3 square root of 3, our perimeter is 36. When we substitute the values, we multiply this 3 by the 18 and get a 54 square root of 3. We can simplify that on our calculator as approximately 93.5 meters squared. So for those of you who need a reminder, in a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle, the length of the hypotenuse so that's this black one right here, is two times the length of the shorter leg. Here we have our shorter leg. So that would be this right here, this three meters. And the length of the longer leg right here, our apothem, is the length of the shorter leg times square root of three. So since this is a three, our apothem is three square root of three. We can find the area of a regular pentagon. It's a regular pentagon, so that means it's got five sides that are all congruent. And it's got a side length of eight inches, so we know they're all eight inches. Inside our pentagon, we draw an isosceles triangle with its vertex at the center. And the central angle is 360 degrees divided by the five sides, it's 72 degrees. So if this entire thing is 72 degrees and we've got our apothem here, then they're each 36 degrees, aren't they? We draw a segment that bisects the central angle and a side of the pentagon to form the apothem. Now we use the tangent ratio to find the apothem. We know if this is a 72 degree angle and we've split it with this apothem, they're each 36 degrees. So we 
need to find the tangent of 36 degrees. And remember, Sokotoa, tangent is going to be the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So that's going to be this 4, that's the opposite leg of this angle, and the adjacent leg is going to be the apothem. So we've got 4 over our apothem. And we can multiply both sides by A and reduce it, and we get tangent of 36 degrees times A on this side. This A cancels out this A, so we end up with 4. We can divide both sides by the tangent of 36. This cancels out as a 1. And we have A, our apothem, is equal to 4 over the tangent of 36 degrees. So now we've found our apothem, and we use it and the given side length to find the area. So our formula was the area is equal to half the apothem times the perimeter. It's a pentagon with 8-inch sides, so we have a 40-inch perimeter. We have our apothem right here as 4 over tangent of 36 degrees. We do half times 4 over the tangent of 36 degrees times 40. That's going to give us a 2 over tangent of 36 degrees times 40, which is going to give us 80, 2 times 40, over the tangent of 36 degrees. When we figure it out on our calculator, we get approximately 110.1 inches squared for our pentagon. Okay? So we were able to find the area of this pentagon with this 8 inch side. So for those of you who need a little reminder, we did tangent ratios back in video 8.2a. And the tangent of an angle is the ratio of the length of the leg opposite the angle to the length of the leg adjacent to the angle. So that's how we got the tangent of 36 degrees was 4 over the apothem. Okay. So we've got our formula, A is equal to half AP, it's half the apothem times the perimeter. We found that our apothem was 4 over the tangent of 36 degrees. When we solve the tangent ratio for the apothem, we can substitute the apothem into the area formula to derive an alternate formula, this one. And we've got the number of sides times the side measure squared over 4 tangent of the quotient of 180 and n. So because we had a pentagon, that would be a 5, wouldn't it? It would be 180 divided by 5. So now we have 5, and that's going to be multiplied by that 8-inch side squared. So we have 5 times 64, which gives us 320. And we have 5 sides, so 180 divided by 5 is 36. We have 4 tangent 36 degrees. And we can cancel out this 4 as a 1 and this 320 as an 80 because there's 80 4s in 320. And we're left with the area is equal to 80 over tangent of 36 degrees. And on our calculator, we get 110.1 inches squared, just like we did before back here when we were doing it. Okay? Same answer. Our next video is going to be the area of composite figures. That's going to be the first part of 10.3, 10.3a. And we're going to talk about triangle area formulas in 10.3b. So now you should understand how to work with an apothem. And if you're a little rusty on your tangent ratios, go back and watch the video from 8.2a and 8.2b where we talked about sine, cosine, and tangents. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next video. Bye.